Let's update our Ravencore QT desktop wallet to version 2.1. We'll start by launching our old wallet and syncing with the network. I'll be right back. Once the old wallet is synced up, we'll want to back it up. Back up our wallet.dat file from our current wallet. So just click File Backup and go to where you normally back up your wallet and create a new one. Now I just pressed enter and I'm not sure, I wanna check to make sure that it was properly backed up, just to double check. It looks like it was a good backup. You can see right here the file sizes are great. And over time you can see how they've increased. So that, that gives me pretty good confidence that this is a, a good backup. The asset capability is going to be enabled on October 30th, 2018. As an added layer of security and peace of mind, you should also dump and document your private key. So now let's go into the help debug window. And we need to dump our private keys. So we need to go and grab our address that we want to dump our key from, which is the one that you use the most frequently. In this case, it's my mining address. So we're going to go to the debug window and type in wallet phrase and then our unlock uh, pass phrase basically for the wallet, the, whatever the password is you have for the wallet. And then we're going to choose 180 for just three minutes and then press enter. All you're going to see is a null. Now we need to di dump private key. In quotation marks you want to put your mining address and then press enter and then now you end up with a private key this private key you need to document this in a safe place don't store it on your computer electronically so let's, let's go ahead and get out of the wallet i'll go ahead and start from the beginning here we're going to start with bitcoin talk let's go to bitcoin talk because i like to start off with a known good location for files and that way you don't end up on some malicious website somewhere. So if you go to Bitcoin Talk, click search, type in Ravencoin, and then press enter or search. And then you're going to go to the announcement thread for Ravencoin. And then you're going to scroll down. There's lots of great information here. But you want to end up finding something that says wallets. It's under important leaks, it looks like right here. So you click on that, that's going to take you to the latest release, which is version 2.1. And we're going to click on the EXE, download it. Then we're going to browse to our downloads folder, depending on your browser. I just went this way because it's pretty standard. You go to your downloads folder, right click on the downloaded new Ravencoin wallet and choose run as administrator. Then you're going to choose next and then you're going to browse to the location of your wallet. Then you're going to click on the RVN folder or Raven folder or whatever you named it. And then click install. It's going to go through the install process pretty quick. Then you're going to click next. Go ahead and let it run the new wallet. You can see right here it's version 2.1 and that's the latest version. Then once you're in your wallet you should see the balance remaining from before the same exact thing. Go in here and make sure that it's still encrypted. Go ahead and back it up as well. So we'll click file backup. Go back to our folder where we store our backups and we can put a, you know, we just made one. So we'll just add new underscore wallet to this one. Click save. And that's all there is to it. Now your wallet should be upgraded to version 2.1. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything in the future. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.